Hello and welcome back to another news video and in this news video we're going to be doing the news for this week so sit back, relax and enjoy. Now we've not had one in a while but we're finally getting back into the 737 MAX problems. This being with Ryanair and this being in regards to their 737 MAXs. Now 146 Boeing 737 MAX 8s were in service for March of 2024. However, this is lower than Ryanair hoped. This is because Boeing is not being too great on getting the 737 MAX to Ryanair. However, Ryanair does remain hopeful that it will eventually get all its MAX 8s and it will have that figure higher. And now moving on to uh, Brussels Airlines. And Brussels Airlines is eyeing up a order potentially for the Airbus A350 variant. And the CEO says that the A350 is out of the A350 and 787. And the A350 is definitely the more preferred choice within the airline's future fleet plans. So this is good news for Airbus as this could be racking in the Airbus A350 orders for and also welcoming in a new customer to the Airbus A350 programme. And also now moving on to WestJet, and WestJet are expanding south towards the Caribbean and Mexico regions with some new routes to their network. And will launch in time for the 2024-2025 summer season schedule, and will launch from Calgary and Toronto, including also Winnipeg to Los Carballos, hopefully I'm saying that right, but also destinations include Tarum, I oh, don't don't think I'm saying that right at all. But these oh, that route also starts from Calgary and Toronto, and Westra is adding these destinations to give Canadians some warm weather destinations in the winter. Now moving on to Riyadh Air, and Riyadh Air are edging closer to entry into service at, for mid 2025 as they begin to closely get close to that AOC approval. And for them to fully get their AOC approval, the airline has to undergo a couple of test flights before it can be proven to fly passengers in the skies above Riyadh and Saudi Arabia. And now moving on to Emirates, and Emirates Airlines this week have announced that they will be having a code share agreement with Avianca Airlines. Now this will of course be to a couple of routes around the network but will also offer Emirates passengers more connectivity around South America and Avianca's of course route network. And the code share agreements are set to begin come this 4th of June and so from when this video is uploaded it will only be two more days until Emirates code share with Avianca kicks into effect. And if you're a future Emirates customer flying from Madrid, London or Barcelona, then you can take advantage of this code share agreement. Now you do not have to book the code shares separately, you can book an Avianca flight on the Emirates website, however you must, I'm pretty sure, have an Emirates ticket, but again I'm not sure, sure on that aspect of the of, of the what happens with it but this is nice to see that emirates is now getting somewhat of a more deeper into the south american market and now moving on to another code share announcement british airways and jet blue will be announcing a code share agreement this will be to boost their connectivity around the united states now, this deal yet has not been struck and it's not an active code share agreement, but as JetBlue has stated before, thanks to the A321 NEO, this sort of code share agreement is actually possible for passengers who are flying on Beta Sherbiz or JetBlue. And then we're moving on to some more Emirates news, and Emirates has this week has now launched new service, not new service with their passenger division, but with their cargo division. They have launched service to Manchester this week. Now I'm not sure if I can anticipate that it is a going to be a proper service. It may be just for a couple of months. I'm not so confirmed so you cannot fully trust me on the fact that it could not be a proper service. It could just be once every couple of months or it could just be an entire summer seasonal service. And now moving on to the final topic 
of this week, and it's in regards to the 737 MAX. And this is the first time in a wee while that we've heard about the 737 MAX, but this is in regards to the 737 MAX 7 and 10 certification process. Now, the plane maker is doing well in addressing the anti-ice problem that is occurring on this type of aircraft. But this is also the reason why we have been seeing delays with these two types of the 737 MAX family. And there seems to be some form of overheat going on again with that anti-ice system. Well, I would like to thank you very much for watching this news recap for this week. I hope you did enjoy, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.